Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Thwolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Ava Var, my Jedi Knight, here on the world of Ilum. We are here to put the hurt to the Sith Empire, who have decided to enact a war of terror upon the Republic, thanks to the loss of their Emperor. They can't hold worlds, it seems, anymore. So instead they found a way to amplify the stealth capabilities of their fleet due to the unique properties of the crystals located here on this world. Unfortunately, they've managed to take control or take over the ruins of the Jedi Enclave here as a base of operations. They are led by Darth Aho, and even though we can't get at them right now, we have found their apprentice, a Lord Lyat, in a nearby Imperial Command Center, and that's what we're going to go attack right now. Now, one minor change, because we were struggling with healing, and I don't want to harp on about it, <laughs> otherwise I'll just not enjoy myself, and I am enjoying myself, um, I've decided to switch out from the Force Shroud, which I wasn't using too often, to Severing Slash, which is another ability like Lacerate, but it hits in a cone in front of you, slowing enemies and giving you 25% 20, of the damage dealt in the form of healing. It is... yeah, it is slightly more powerful as well. Unfortunately, it does have a 12 second cooldown, but that extra healing could be useful in large groups of enemies, so we'll give it a go. So, obviously the, the Imperial Command Center is just southwest of our location here. Before we head down that way, I'm going to head back into this base of operations, this way station they call it. There's a few uh, exploration missions available. Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Odmishka. Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. Chonki faguta ji ho poda ji oto vokise. Maybe now is the time to take a stand. Patoga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya. Nam kanoya choski nawi. Why don't you let me deal with this? Okabi no bota yoga to crispa. Mi at ambumpa boshura mokili mokranki. Chonki faguta, jiho poda ji oto vokise. Okay, plant a bomb, deal with the Imperials. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it's tell it tells us straight away what the bonus mission is as well. Defeat 15 Imperials. Very well. Um, doo -doo -doo. I might move deflection over here as well. Hello, Major. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya. Nam kanoya choski nawi. Poya tuka changa gobtula do bata wana wanki. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. Sounds like a real pleasant crowd. O bagthra wana waga mi bunawa due duipe. Chikospa ini gudad ijigliska chanagawa. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya asubwi mota uipa. This is beginning to sound like a suicide mission. Taus azulas uval tung ni chakulka dimaji. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. Okay, we need to go secure the weapon shipment. What is the deal with the turrets, repair droids? Let's wait for the. Go on, guild tag disappear. Thank you. 
Right, that's over that way. Let's go grab a uh, Sergeant Pell first, since he's in an entirely different direction. I remember, I might want to make use of their uh, Phantom Stride a bit more. So hopefully it should have cooled it should reset its own cooldown. It doesn't actually use any force to use. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Just following the road. Got this. Ah I mean, this might be a ship. This might be a ship. What's left of it? Not what I was looking for. Ah. Oh. Really? Really? We find the smallest thing to get stuck on. Bloody hell. <sighs> Sergeant Pell, your droid said you were injured. I brought medical supplies. Kisa Roda. Kopana Chapurko Utman Gisa? O Bagthra Wanawaga Mi Bunawa Dwetwipe. Wait, now let's head down to the Imperial base. Do the side missions first. Hmm, maybe. Looks like the Imperial base over there. Let's have an unlock bit, bit more of the map. Yeah, we can do. I think this act this way heads towards the Republic Enclave, if I'm honest, but. The side missions shouldn't take us too long. I was looking into uh, gear progression this morning before I started recording, and I was looking at the difference between Noble, Elite, and Supreme Decurion gear. And so, where can I find it again? Yeah, just because I'm talking about it right now. In solo progression, 
It's the Noble Gear, which can go all the way to item level 3 to 6. The Flashpoint Gear is the Elite stuff, and that can only go to 3 to 4 with uh, Veteran Flashpoints, unless you're doing the Master Mode Flashpoints. So if I want to upgrade my Noble Gear properly, we do actually need to do this Conquest stuff, unfortunately. <sighs> Which is going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do the. I'm going to have to do that, and I'm also going to have to do the technological advancements to try and grab the legendary implants because they can go all the way to three thirty. They start at three two six and go up from there. Oh, this area. Is this where I think it is? Or is there some place similar over here for the Empire? Because there's a place like this. Well, I mean, there's a load of a lot of Republic soldiers here. But two sec. Oh, and the saw security chest. Are there some chests here you can interact with? Because the Empire needs some mining equipment or some such. Yeah, the shipment crates. I think that's correct, unless I'm getting mistaken. I haven't been to Ilum for a while, and as I say, I'm doing my Jedi Knight before I do my Bounty Hunter here on this world. So, we need to plant a bomb on the Ion Disruptor. Which is over there. Also, with the 18 seconds on discharge and creeping terror and then using lacerate, you can actually bounce it between targets using lacerate. Because you can hit one target. Give it maybe five seconds and then use lacerate to spread it. And then after about 13, 14 seconds, when if it, the primary target's still alive, hit the second target who has been it's been bounced to and bounce it back. I've been reading a few guides on how to use our skills rather than because um rather than worry about using our force. Just keep hitting enemies with lacerate, it seems. Just keep hitting them. Over and over. The turrets dealt with. Oh, we have a couple of ion disruptors we can plant explosives at. Hello, gentlemen. but we didn't get any... None of those targets counted towards the bonus mission. Unfortunately. Yeah, so when I see all those ticks from Eradicate, it's like... 
rather than do one massive like 16,000 sorry 1,616 kinetic damage in that 0.6 of a second it's doing say like 400 damage four times so you see like four or five ticks happening so it does all the damage but it's doing it like, in individual blows I think it's doing all the ticks one after the other all very quickly Okay, that's a bonus mission complete as well. And I'm starting not to have to look at the quick boss so often to see how and see what abilities are where again. <laughs> Just gotta remember the mind trap. I can use it to disable someone if it needs be. Right, onwards to Lord Lyat. <laughs> Yeah, between parts of the series, I am going to have to do like, quite a few flashpoints. It's a shame that they got rid of the Renown system. I kind of wish, and here's me just thinking out loud, there's a couple of things I would like to see in the patches. One, since we have outfits now, maybe have custom weapons, which I think they might be adding. And hopefully by the time you might get, part, get to this part of the series, they may have added it. Hopefully. Custom air lightsabers or custom weapons. So that you can actually have a lightsaber you like the look of. And then... Put in something... Like, you, we had a renown system. Have that... So that if you... Mm, as you level up, you gain some reward again. Rather than just being stuck at level 80. Because actually I like them having another... We have the conquest system, but I did like having the other, another progression system. Because once people get that item level 326 for solo content or 330, that's it. There's, there's nothing for them to do anymore. And there's already like a low player base for the game.
give the players another way to feel like they're progressing. And they'll want to progress, basically. That's how I would feel. Because I think when the Renown system was first introduced, you had different tiers of chests that you could gain as rewards. Like level 1 to 49 or 1 to 50 was like the lowest tier of chest. And you still got reasonable rewards like customizable armor. But then like 51 to 100, the chest was better. And then 100 plus, the chest was better. And I don't mean, I don't think you got better gear. Maybe you did get one bit of better gear from that chest. But it was just like, it felt like a greater reward. And you would always get a higher renown. And now renown's been removed. They used to be, I'm just going to show this off. Um, you had advancement. So I was getting bonus experience up to 30%. For defeating enemies in flashpoints. So I was always getting 30% more experience than someone who didn't have this legacy advancement. But there used to be a renown path as well that people could unlock. Now people will have spent either in-game credits or cartel coins on their character to gain more renown more quickly. I never did because I never normally got a character this far and then took them too far into the um, expansions I never played with that one character over and over I would start a new series but some people would just have one or two characters and they'd probably be renowned rank something ridiculous like 200 300 I don't know what the cap was but that would be an achievement and now it's gone so that person's now less inclined to continue because they've taken something away. doing with our syndicate plans 174 right I have to keep an eye on that remember as well to make use of creeping tower if nothing else because when we use our severing slash or lacerate creeping tower can proc more than once well it can tick and severing slash makes it always tick an extra time and lacerate it's 50% of the time well any other melee attack Um, I need ah just looking for another apprentice. Now, one thing we did learn before we confront Lord Lyat 
is that she may indeed be Darth Arfo's lover. Which we can maybe able to use in uh, talking to her. Here she is. It's over, Lord Loyat. So, Rans has sent the great champion of the Jedi to challenge me. Your martial skills are legendary, but you will not succeed here. You have no idea what torment you are about to suffer. I am Darth Arho's personal apprentice. Those who hear my master's name tremble in fear. I don't see your master anywhere. It's just you and me. You know nothing of my Darth Arho. He embodies all the Dark Council represents. His wrath is legendary. Master, hurry to my side. Together we will destroy these Republic fools. Darth Arho, can you hear me? It is I, Lord Loyat. Master, are you there? Did you really believe he'd risk himself to save you? For a Sith Lord, you still have a lot to learn about the dark side. He wouldn't abandon me. This... this must be a test. Yes, a test of my strength. I will destroy you myself, and prove to my master I am worthy to serve him. Oh, we made friends. God, how the hell did we get those their attention? We're not having much luck with the assassin so far. It's not that I'm frustrated, I'm just confused. Feel my force. And now I'm even further confused. Get me into trouble, Kira. You really are. We're still in combat. I got your back. She got that commander's attention, and now we're uh, go deal with him for me. Bloody hell! <laughs> Somewhat ridiculous. How? Hmm. Oh, well, Celebi. She's gonna die, isn't she? Oh, for crying out loud. Assist. Yeah, thanks for getting me into trouble. Low lives is watching, going, What the hell is going on here? Stop. I yield. I yield. I can't let you live. Then make it quick. And there we are, one less Sif in the world. Oh, for crying out loud. 
We're just going to have to clear out more enemies, it seems. If we let them live, it's just too dangerous. <laughs> we'll just end up in trouble. The way to avoid it, of course, is to have my companion just set as a healing companion. But I'm trying to do... I'm trying... I am trying to avoid doing that. I mean, yes, the Assassin class is powerful in terms of DPS. It's just trying to cut through the enemies more quickly by having our companion aid us in dealing said damage. Done as you wished. Buka kampak nijit, tonka yiliska chanaga, patoga wata kiko uva kiliwata buki donko. Wata humpa, muri rava pupa jipampa wula. My pleasure. Se gota do muti ki hasa da punyo. Please di woto. Take whatever you can carry. Wipe everything else clean. Let's go. We're mobile in five minutes. What's going on? Our host troops has raided our command post. Massive casualties on both sides. Our boys drove them off, but the imps captured Supreme Commander Rands. Jian Dars ordered everyone back to the command post. The Supreme Commander sent too many troops to secure the mines. He left himself vulnerable. Rands had plenty of troops on hand, but Arho's insane. He sent his people into a massacre. They lost twice as many soldiers as we did. He sacrificed hundreds just to capture Rands. Probably figured we'd fall apart without him. Grab your gear and head back. Gian and the others will want to speak with you. We'll be right behind you. Oh, great. He wasn't just content with pushing us out of the Jedi Enclave. He's now attacked the command center. Without a supreme commander, what are the Republic's plans? If we storm the temple, Darth Aho might kill the Supreme Commander. We lost Commander Jubb in the attack. We can't afford to lose Rans too. Mem amgap kugap, kramanik, umka kiga mayamak. 
Why do you think the Imperials captured Rans instead of killing him? They knew it would turn you against each other. You're right. We must remain calm. There is no emotion, only peace. <laughs> Alam Giga Akapa. Greetings, Republic Commanders. My name is Darth Malgus. Time is short, so I will be blunt. I've been providing Supreme Commander Rans information to help him defeat Darth Aho. I'm here to offer you the same. How can I verify the truth of this? I'm a pragmatist. I know we lost the war. If we continue to fight, you will destroy us. I accept that. Aho does not. He's a member of the Dark Council, but he's a thug. The Council needs someone more... progressive, if the Empire hopes to survive. Someone like you, I suppose. Openly opposing Aho would draw the wrath of the Dark Council, but by helping you eliminate him, we both get what we want. You're a Sith. You use lies and deception to get what you want. I'm only here to provide information. Whether you choose to use it is up to you. Come on, Nemega, Nagaka. Manalak Laki, Nabi Nekamaraka. They're holding him in a secret POW camp. The perimeter is ringed with droid defended security towers. Any breach will set off the alarm. I'm transmitting the location of the camp and the codes to disable the tower alarms. Use them as you see fit. I've got a bad feeling about this. Kamperem ganyam bajiyang. Mani kikum bukam. I can trust Malgus for one reason. He's acting out of self-interest. He hates Darth Arho more than he hates us. Niba ga glamka. Gakyam. Glak nimu amya galak. Um nuk inu nemnu. Amka aka memper lak balak. Well, if nothing else, we chose a uh, stealth-capable character, so we can get into that prison without too much notice, hopefully. Do we have codex entries on Darth Aho? Not yet, but we did just get one on Darth Malgus. Obviously, we have seen him before when we were doing the Mandalorian Raiders flashpoint. Also, I believe, maybe when we were doing Aphis. Darth Malgus has long been a paradox to his fellow Sith. A staunch proponent of the Empire's superiority, but also questions some of its oldest values. Born under the name Veridun in the years before the Empire's return, Malgus distinguished himself during the war as a warrior and general. He was eventually entrusted with securing the Empire's interests on distant worlds, where he encountered the soldiers of many alien cultures and found them worthy of respect. As he grew in prominence, fighting at the Battle of Alderaan and later during the sacking of Coruscant, his travels and alliances with aliens, including a relationship with his Twi'lek slave, marked him as an unorthodox figure. Caring nothing for the power plays common to Sith, Darth Malgus has spent the last few years strengthening his ties to alien groups. He has often claimed that the Empire's ancient prejudices against aliens and constant infighting of weaknesses. To be victorious, Malgus says, the Empire must change. Hmm. Well, I don't disagree, but in fact, I don't want the Empire getting stronger, but if they're not going to be so discriminatory against aliens, I suppose that's a good thing, question mark? What we'll do is we'll take a break here. When we come back, we'll look into rescuing the Supreme Commander. Oh, it looks like the prison complex isn't too far away. Yeah, we'll go rescue the Supreme Commander. Hopefully, the information Darth Malgus has given us is accurate. But we'll find out for ourselves. Thank you for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye bye now.